This is your last chance to get entered to win our 2006 Z06 plus $20,000 in cash. For every $1 you spend on our website, whether you're buying merchandise like this or car parts, you get one automatic entry to win. We have coilovers, we have brakes, suspension, wheels, tires, exhaust, performance stuff, everything you can think of we sell on our site. And everything that you see us install on our YouTube channel comes from our website. In case you missed it, the Z06 is supercharged. It's got forged wheels, upgraded suspension, and a whole lot more. And just a reminder guys, the sweepstakes ends in just a couple days, so this really is your last chance. Head on over to the link in the video description or go to throttle.com right now and get those entries in before it's too late. Now that's it for me, now let's get into the Supra. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Throttle YouTube channel. My name is Quinn, I'm here with Mickey and Ricky and we have a lot of super parts to get onto this car. But before we get into that, I want you guys to know that these shirts are gonna be live on Sunday and all Throttle merch is back on the site. So if you guys have been waiting to pick up some new merch, head over to throttle.com right now. We got a lot of fresh merch. So what are we getting into today, boys? I'm gonna be working on the interior. I'm gonna be having these Ricardo podium seats installed, which they're extremely light, full of carbon fiber stuff. And then I have the tire motorsport roll cage that I'm also gonna be throwing in and hopefully that's gonna tie it up the majority of the interior. Did you say these things were light? Super. Finger light! <laughs> weigh nothing. The, the mounts weigh more than the seats. Way more than the seats. <laughs> and I have our graphics. So we reached out to Modern Image who did the original graphics for the movie cars. They worked with us last year on our Eclipse. And then again this year, they provided us with the Troy Lee Designs graphic that was on the actual movie car. So this is 100% authentic to the movie car. Now obviously our car is not authentic. It's a little bit different, it's way wider. So we're gonna take our own spin on this, get it on the car as close to the movie car as possible, which we have here for reference. And I think once this is on, it's really gonna take shape and we're really gonna get a chance to see what this thing's gonna look like when it's all buttoned up. I can't wait for the wheels and tires to get here. This, I'm really excited this about This car that. is gonna completely change in this video. It's gonna be epic. Let's stop talking and get all to right, work. We're gonna work, let's do it. Oh, well, Quinn's working up front on a few other things. I'm working on getting some of the aesthetics going. As you can see here, I started to install our APR wing uprights. Now the body shop actually shaved these down for us. So they follow the contour of the trunk with this little flip up here and they sit right in front of our wing. You see, I have a little spacer in here because I'm trying to get the gapping just right. All right, well, I grabbed our element and we're gonna toss this on. Man, this thing is massive. I'm six feet tall and this is, uh, yep, over my head, so. Oh. <laughs> this is even crazier than the Eclipse. Like this is even gnarlier than the Eclipse. Thank you APR, this thing turned out awesome. I hope you guys like it, I love it. So the boys from SOS just got here. They're actually gonna be working on the Supra, getting this thing ready so that Mickey can start laying the livery down. the premium meats. Look at oh, these, dude. Dude, that is so deep. <laughs> Holy crap. Right, that center is like a four, mile down there. Out. What? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> That's a balloon. Holy crap. Think that'll do it? Dude! I that. Oh. 12 inch. <laughs> oh. Brother. So these are two piece weld, right? So they finish the center. How's it little dirt from the tire Bro. shop. Give, give us Polish. a spec, Becky, give us a spec. These are 19 by 10 in the front, 15 by 12 in the back. Yeah. They're so deep, that's crazy. <laughs> this is gonna fit? Let's go, let's Boys. slap them on. Should we try? Do the yeah. Test fit? Hell yeah. All right. What the heck, dude? That's nuts. We got RT-660s in the front, and then the Mickey Thompson's in the back. I 
gotta stop doing the moldings in the interior because the bodies from Maguire's are gonna be here just a few days. And I'm trying to prep everything that has a lot of orange peel for them so they can able to buff this out and make this thing look brand new. And then once it's done with that, I'll get back on the car and I'll finish what I was doing. All right, well, I started to lay the graphic out. My friend John over at Modern Image and Enrico, the owner of Modern Image, gave me some tips on how to lay this down. Now, our car, the body is a little bit differently, as I mentioned in the intro to this video. So it's gonna require a little bit more material in some spaces than others because the panels are wider, but they gave me the hints on where to line things up. So we're gonna line things up. The nice thing is, is like, so this part in particular right here, they, they make this one piece, but the thing is it runs through the wheel well. So you can cut it here. And what they said they do is they actually cut it here make it its own piece. And you have identifying marks on the movie car that show where this goes exactly on the fender and bumper. One piece goes on the fender, one piece goes on the bumper. So we can actually just slide this back and shorten it up if we need to. So we're in good shape. This is kind of where it goes. I'm gonna try to lay everything out just with tape before I start laying it down. But we are gonna start with the robot, which is pretty cool. We're gonna take a quick break from the super episode to let you know about today's video sponsor, which is Manscaped, the premium brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. I'm excited to be one of the first to try the brand new Lawnmower 4.0. Cordless, waterproof trimmer, and I am blown away by the performance. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer has these advanced ceramic blades with skin safe technology. This helps reduce nicks and cuts and can be easily replaced with a fresh blade so you can groom with confidence. It's cordless and waterproof so you can trim in the shower. The tri-level power status indicator LEDs on the front will light up individually to show you the battery life. Now let's talk about the ultra smooth package from Manscaped. This new kit involves a easy three-step shaving system to help you buff, protect, and smooth your most sensitive areas with confidence. Step one, the crop exfoliator. Step two, the crop gel. And step three, get close and comfortable with the new crop shaver. The Ultra Smooth package also has five replacement blades for your crop shaver and a convenient storage case for easy travel. Get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code THROTTLE at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Now let's get back to the Supra. Hit me. I think it just hit me. It's real now, dude. Oh, it's getting real now. All right, we're about to call it a night. It's been another long day as we strive to get this car complete for the SEMA show. I got the left side of the car done with the vinyl and then also the front bumper. And we got a phone call from a couple of the guys that work for Meguiar's that said they wanted to help us out and come down and actually polish the car on Sunday this weekend. It's a huge help for us. Some, one last thing we have to do, shout out to them for hooking us up and spending their weekend in our shop. It's pretty cool of them in preparation for SEMA. We're gonna kick off the night with a little banner install, make it official, so let's do it.
All right, well, it is Monday, and last you guys saw previously in this video was Friday. The driver's side is done, except for the roll call decals, which our boys over at SD Vinyl and Shine are gonna come by and toss those on tomorrow. We're gonna go ahead and throw the green on now, and then the majority of the Fast and Furious livery will be on, and then we just gotta do the roll calls. So we're in really good shape. Today is gonna be a transformation, so stay tuned in this video because you're gonna see the wheels go on, the roll cage go in, and a bunch of really cool stuff that's gonna transform this car into what you're gonna see at SEMA. Mickey's almost done doing the delivery in the car. The car's looking already insane. We're not even finished. I got done doing the passenger store. I'm gonna move into the driver's side. We're gonna get all the seals done, the sound visors, the moldings, everything done. And from there, we're gonna move to the road cage. Moving on to the roll cage, it is that time. We have everything ready to go. I'm gonna start with the front side, which is a two pose. And from there, we'll move our way back with the other two poles and we'll have our four poles roll cage installed. I don't think they're ready. Sick. <laughs> this is you guys in the, in the It's like you and Ricky. All right, Ricky and I just knocked out the roll cage. The Titan Motorsports cage is really nice for those of you that are looking for a bolt-in cage. Bolts into the rear strut tops and everything fit perfectly. We, yeah, we just had to easy. give it a little shake and, and hit it with a rubber mallet just to get it over the studs. But the fitment for something that was welded and put together off-site for us and painted off-site, money. Good. One of the things I like about it is it has their little stamp right here on the side. Pretty cool. Has a part number and everything, serial number. But man, the fact they were able to paint this yellow for us saved us a bunch of time, fits great. And now, Ricky, we get to start figuring out how we're gonna mount these NOS bottles. Yep. And one thing I like about it is it actually gives us this crossbar that acts as a strut tower bar, as well as a roll cage, which is really cool, but we can mount off that potentially. All right, so here it is, I have it right here in the hatch. Uh, if we are gonna use this mount, and we have two of them, I would like for it to see one here and the other one mirroring this one on this side. Let's see what Mickey wants to see. Our original goal was to mount this thing on the cage with some cage mounts, but we weren't able to get the mounts that we wanted on time, so I think we're gonna have to go with this route. I wanna close the hatch to see what it kinda looks like, because I kinda want it to be shown when the hatch is closed. Which it does. We can even move forward a little bit more. Both bottles are gonna be right here facing that way, straight. We looked at it in an angle this way, an angle in the V shape, and then straight, and we like the V, uh, the, I mean the uh, straight better. We're gonna push them as far as forward as possible, but obviously we have a lot of stuff going on here, so I'm gonna build a wall. It's gonna be thin wood and I'm gonna reinforce it by making a custom bracket that's gonna bolt into these bolts right here. And we'll be able to make a plate and it'll be plenty strong to hold both bottles, both bottles in. Those are some good looking wheels though. It's funny, man, like 19s look big on 90s cars, but then you put a wide body on it and it doesn't look big anymore. You know what I mean? All right, it is time to get started on the headlights. And in front of me, I have a huge table of Morimoto parts for us to custom build the inside of these headlights. Now we have two sets of projectors, so I have a couple of ballasts here. These are 35 watt, that's gonna handle our low beam and our high beam as separate projectors. Our running light is gonna be a switchback halo. Over here we have our HID bulbs, but these are the ballasts and yet another of our Morimoto projector headlights. So let's get cracking on those headlights.
All right, I just peeled these two headlights apart. We have a couple of pieces that are gonna be resurfaced. I think we're gonna keep the chrome for these interior bezels. It's in really good condition. It looked pretty bad because these lenses are pretty bad. Ricky and I are gonna work together with Mick and we're going to shine those up. We're gonna keep it chrome. That's how our rendering is. That's how the movie car was. So now the step is to get this scatter housing out of here. So I need to remove this entire projector kind of housing bracket. And there's three bolts on the back of this that I have to remove. All right, the second headlight assembly is finished. Before I go ahead and throw this lens on, I wanted to give you guys a final glance at everything that was done on the inside of this. So part of it was this shroud, which was mounted on side of this projector housing for a dual Xenon. So this is our Morimoto by Xenon projector that we put in in place, actually in front of this scatter housing that was part of the OE assembly. So incandescent switched over to HID with this projector housing. The beam is gonna be much more focused and it's dual Xenon, which means flip a trigger and it's gonna increase the amount of scatter that it has and it's gonna turn it into a bright. So basically we'll have two lows and then one of these will become a high. You're gonna be able to see really well in this car. Now that all this is done on the inside, I've done everything on the back that I need to. I just need to heat up this glue, get this lens back on, put the clamps back on, this thing will be fully sealed. It'll be ready to install in the car when Ricky's ready because he wants the pushback so that he can really dive into these lenses and get them really cleaned up, looking brand new. All right, we got the car back up on the lift. Now it's time to throw in these headlights uh, before the bumper goes back on because they need to kind of be in conjunction. So I have everything wired up, ready for us to plug in the ballast and, the, and igniters. Let's throw these in. Tossed in our headlights, now it's time to put in a few modules that make these things possible and make them look really good. We have our ballast for our two HID bulbs that are in each housing. And then here we have a couple of switchback controllers. This is gonna take running light and blinker light and switch between amber and white. And then a little treat here, I have a sequential controller. That is going to basically from center to the side of the car, it's gonna sequence those uh, switchbacks. So it's gonna go from white to amber, all those halos are gonna kind of be sequential. So it's a lot of controllers. They're all sitting vertical right behind the headlight. So these are the profile halos that we got for all three of our outputs on these headlights and they look so sweet, but this is only half of it. They also have a switchback function, which is gonna turn into amber when you turn on your turn signal. Let me show you how that looks. All right, well that is the most intricate part of our new headlights that we kind of pieced together. This is a lot of fun. There's a lot of pins and a lot of wires to theorize and connect and everything. So of course I had a blast. That's it for me as far as the super goes. I have a Z to put together. Unless these guys need to help, I am gonna be over there. Just got done making these quick little frame for our NOS bottles. This is gonna bolt on right here just like this. Wow, Ricky, that's oh, impressive. Nice. What do you mean impressive? I didn't know you could build stuff like that. So it'll bolt here and I'm gonna make, I already made a little panel that goes over this and then I'm gonna see how wrong it is. It may be funny to go thicker on the wood or keep it the same way it is. So let me get the wrench, let me tighten this up. It should be nice and steady in a second. So what I did with the self tap, I just marked the piece of wood and the brace. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill a really big hole. I'm gonna put a rib nut inside and then I'm gonna do a downstar flush bolt on top. I'm gonna do the same thing down here on the brace. I'll probably do three or four bolts. That's gonna hold this thing very, very steady. And then we're gonna wrap this thing in carpet. We're gonna put it back in here. We're gonna bolt it down. There's gonna be another L bracket brace here. We're just gonna hold this thing down without drilling into a subwoofer. And then after that, we're gonna start laying down the braces for the NOS bottle and start drilling those holes.
We've got our bottle set up here. Everything is where we need it to be. So I put a dash six fitting with some straight rubber line on to kind of give us the trajectory. Luckily this plate has a hole in it. So we're gonna actually utilize that to run our line. So our lines are gonna come together through here. They're gonna meet up about here and then we'll have our main nitrous line run through the cabin, through the firewall and up into the engine bay. So right now we need to get lines, lengths, and then our fitting sorted to make everything work. So we're gonna get these mounted up where they need to be. Ricky just marked this one, which is good. So now we gotta do the other side. Then we'll take a measurement for where the bottle is to where our Y is gonna be. We can have two line length measurements and then we'll get our main line all the way up to the front measured and then we'll get the lines to mark. So now that I have everything mocked up and all the lines and the holes are marked where I need to start drilling, I'm gonna take this whole thing apart, drill these holes. I'm gonna remount everything to make sure everything is lined up and in perfect form how we want it. From there, everything comes right back all apart and we're gonna prep everything to assemble for the last time. So now Ricky's got our bottles where they're going to be in the back. I can actually finish out the nitrous. So we stopped by Crown, picked up some lines. So these are actually the lines that are gonna run from the bottles up to the engine bay. Of course, we gotta set up our solenoids. We have two nitrous solenoids here. One of them is the actual nitrous solenoid that'll put nitrous into the engine. The other one is a purge solenoid. So we're gonna get this all set up. I do have a fuel solenoid here, which is cool. So we're gonna run our lines, get everything wired up, and then we're gonna have nitrous purge and we'll have nitrous in the engine. Let's get into it. This is our long mamma jamma. This is gonna run all the way up to the bottles. And then these are our bottle fittings. So that will tee off like that. Boom, one to one nitrous bottle, one to the other nitrous bottle. This will plug in here like that. There you go. So this is gonna be our setup. Of course, we will have this on there. And these are actually, these will come out. So this is part of the nitrous purge kit. So we can have two, we're gonna have two. Of course, these are gonna get bent. So we'll go like beep, beep. And then we'll bring one out here. And then we'll bring the other one out here. And then we'll wire these, which are LED lights. We'll wire that to the solenoid. So when you hit the solenoid, these light up. So it'll be like out the hood, but it'll also be lit. Perfect, actually. That'll be fun. So it's gonna come through this little hole in the cowl, this little hole, and then it's gonna be like up in here. Yep. I'm gonna put grommet on, and of course we're gonna run on this side to give us some more length. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna reuse this right here. That little rubber, so I'm gonna cut that off and then feed that line through there. So it'll have a nice clean seal up here and we'll run this around the other side so it'll be cleaner. But essentially that's the main uh, nitrous line right there. We're good. So we have the boys from SD Vinyl and Shine down in the shop today to finish up our livery. We have a lot of great sponsors that were part of this build and really made this thing happen. And they are gonna put them on the car and it's going to be beautiful. If you guys want their services, check out their Instagram right here. They make all sorts of decals along with custom stuff. If you want something like this on your car, hit them up. So let's get these things on, get the livery finished. About to make some holes right about here. So this is like right behind the fuel pressure regulator. So these are our lines. One is nitrous, one is fuel, and they need to go pretty much through the cowl and then we'll plug them into the solenoids up here. So this actually threads directly into the solenoids. So we're gonna make a little hole back here. I found a spot that it like comes down and then comes in. So it, you probably won't even really be able to see the hole because it'll be like tucked up here. So then we'll just like sneak those lines through and we'll be jamming. I do need to make mounts for the solenoid. So after that is done and we got those through and I'll start making mounts for those. I've got our fuel and our main nitrous solenoid hooked up to our nitrous lines in the engine bay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run our purge setup, make a little bracket for this, and then we can start making on our actual lines that are gonna purge upwards, so.
All right, so it's time for me to start messing with the rear portion of the interior. By rear, I mean the middle. So I'm gonna start tossing the rear seat delete right now, and then we'll see how far I get into it. So I ended up putting the panel in here. I put both tanks in here, bolted everything down, and everything is nice and sturdy, which is perfect. Exactly what we wanted. This thing will be able to do pulls, and the bottles are not going anywhere. This time, I'm gonna take everything out. I'm gonna wrap this thing in black. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put the original carpet that goes on top. I'm gonna drill the holes for the mounts for the NOS tank, and then we just put the new bottles in. Okay, so I got the carpet in. Uh, we did order a custom carpet for this thing, but it hasn't shown up, and I don't think it's gonna make it on time. So I'm putting the original carpet back in here. I'm gonna start putting the uh, mounts for the final time for the NOS bottles in right now and we just received the uh, two NOS bottles from our performance shop so it is time to finalize the trunk. They're properly mounted. Next step is gonna be Quinn's gonna be hooking up the feedings to it, and from there we should be moving on to testing them. So I finished up our little blow off tubes for these. So I got one here kind of going this way, and I've got one over there going up that way. So now we're gonna wire everything up, put some nitrous to it, and test it, make sure that it works. So I've got my grounds set up here. So I need to extend the wire for the ground for that light, and then we'll be on to wiring our relay and our wiring our button. So I've got our perch system pretty much fully wired minus the button, which we're gonna put in right now. However, I'm gonna temporarily wire the button in at least. I'm not 100% sure where this is gonna be in the car. I don't know if it's going on the wheel or if it's going on wherever. So I'm gonna make the wiring on the button itself temporary so we can move this wherever. For now, let's get it wired up and make sure it works. The other one's lighting up too? Yeah. Got it. I got light on this side. That's it. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. We got this car almost dialed in. There's a few things we still need to do. We got a lot of major things done today. Motegi Battle 5 wheels are on, along with the livery and the body absolutely transformed. This car looks incredible. Best thing that I think we've done today was the nitrous kit. Oh my God, to have both bottles in there and wired up and... Are they working? They are working. Okay. Yeah, they are working. Show, I don't think we showed it. So it is working. We're gonna wait for that in the next video because it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Once it's completely finished, which is gonna be the very next video, video coming yeah. up you guys will see the full function and the full show we are getting very close to finishing this car if you guys want to see this car in person at SEMA we're gonna be hosting a meet-and-greet at McGuire's booth so I'll swing by Thursday at 2 p.m. the outside booth so anybody can be there Ricky will be there I'll be there all the boys are gonna be there thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one see ya